cool. Cool is right. It's the official dessert of Pennsylvania, and we got the inside look at how it's made in our Chronicle Ice Cream Social last summer. Take your banana and you're going to cut it lengthwise. Get the vanilla, chocolate next, strawberry ice cream on there. Then add strawberries over the strawberry scoop, chocolate syrup over the chocolate scoop, crushed pineapple over the vanilla. And on top of all that, whipped cream, maraschino cherries, and an American flag. There you have it, but you can really enjoy it any way you like it. Nothing brings the city of Latrobe together like some bananas. I love the energy. Like I, you know, I like the food. We always get different vendors, but the energy around town and like the feeling of, um, I don't know, the feeling of community and like the excitement that, you know, it's just you can kind of feel it that people are really excited to be here and people come from far, far away. And I love to tell the story about um, Latrobe and the banana split. We come down every year for the last. This will be the tenth year. But it's not just about the fruit. There's music, a car show, cornhole tournament, even rock climbing. I made it to the top. The free event this weekend looks to draw big crowds. We've had estimations as, as, of as many as 30,000 people throughout the three-day weekend. Um, you know, coming back out of COVID and, and 21, which we had a one-day event, 22 last year was our first year back to three days. We did pretty well. I'm expecting a really good crowd this weekend. It is a family tradition. Yeah, you can start it with your own family, too. Latrobe has held this annual celebration since 2013 when the Pennsylvania Historical Society unveiled a marker at the former site of Tassel's Pharmacy, where David Strickler was working at the time on his wonderful invention. Be sure to tune in to Good Morning America tomorrow morning right here on WTAE Channel 4. They will have a crew at Latrobe's Great American Banana Split Celebration. <laughs>